Hello, welcome to day five of Vlogmas. So today I've already been busy packaging up orders and I've got Adam to pop down to the post office for me to take those. Um, so they've been posted off. I don't always work on a Saturday, but it's so busy at the moment. I just want to get some orders posted off just so that they get to you a bit quicker rather than wait until Monday. So today I'm wearing my Zadie dress or one of my Zadie dresses. I'll just have to set back so you can see the full length of it. So it is a lovely stretchy dress which is brilliant because it's really really cosy and it's got the most massive pockets so you can actually get an A5 notebook in there which I think is fantastic. <laughs> so the this is a pattern from Tilly and the Buttons and there is normally I think there's a three quarter length or full length sleeve. I've only made the three quarter length sleeve and this one but this isn't the short sleeve that's in the pattern because the short sleeve in the pattern comes up really high and I wanted it just to come down slightly lower so what I did is I just took the longer pattern piece and chopped it off at the length that I really like so that's what I did for this one. I used a contrast panel for the front and the back of it um, which I actually got from an idea off Instagram which I really love and oh it's all in black so it's nice and sort of it disguises my fat a bit <laughs> and I do have another version of this which you may see a bit later on in vlogmas anyway I shall show you what socks I've got on today and Adam's here as well so I'll go and collar him so that you can see what he's got on his feet as well last year I I made this Christmas tree here using a sort of quilted folded patchwork technique and I actually have got a little tutorial on YouTube for it if you want to make one yourself. I will leave a link up here in the top right of your screen but I'll also leave one in the description box if you want to make one too. So as it's Saturday we open the advents early and I get to have my chocolates with a nice hot chocolate for lunchtime today. <laughs> so we're number five. And we are the owl. <gasps> Look, it's lint! There's another one. <gasps> Two lint chocolates! <laughs> I have been good today, haven't I? This advent calendar, I actually made it and did some video tutorials of it as well. So if you want to make something like this and you want a little bit of a helping hand, I'll leave a link to me making this in some tutorials up in the right corner or in the description box as well. I think I need to make another one of these with bigger pockets so that I can get yarn in them a little bit easier. Uh, because I quilted them, the pockets aren't quite as big, so you can't fill them up quite as much. But I didn't use the instructions it said on the pattern, I just did it my own way. I think next time I'll follow the instructions in the pattern so I've got bigger pockets. Chocolate time! Day five? Yeah. Oh, Malteser. Oh, you like those? Oh, just one today. There's only one! You got the lot today. I must have stolen them, mustn't I? <laughs> Day five on the Lego calendar. Day five, I can't find it. It's uh, next to the oh Christmas yeah, tree. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's... Who is that? It's a friend for Harry. Yes, every time the snow is... Yay, Harry's got a friend. She's got lots of extra ones here. <laughs> I think it might be Chew from her outfit. It's definitely a female character. Um, we think it's Chew because of the colour of her dress.
we are outside because Adam tells me he sorted out the Christmas lights on the outside of the house. So we'll also feel very festive outside as well as inside. So Adam, you can just put them on. Yep. You ready? Three? Yeah. Two. One. <laughs> they are very lovely, but what about the house? Oh. <laughs> I love those reindeers. Gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. My favorite holiday. It means so much more than words can say. And I claim Christmas is a magic day. Sometimes I tend to forget what glory this holiday represents. But it's fair to say the Christmas. So we've just been enjoying some Vlogmas videos. We've caught up on the second instalment of Sandra of Cherry Heart and also Davina of Little Workroom Crafts. So I um, hope to watch a few more later. But first, I thought I'd show you some of the Christmas decorations we've got around our lounge that are handmade. So first of all, this advent calendar with little stockings on was actually a, a panel that I bought from a quilting shop. I think it was Rocks and Barns uh, quite a few years ago now and I made them up but I did modify the pattern slightly in that I lined them all and put wadding in them and did some quilting on each of them so that they're a little bit more sturdy. But I'm really pleased with how they come out. I've actually stitched them onto this ribbon tape just so that they don't come off but they've got little pegs on just to have a little bit of decoration. I just made some simple bunting to go on the fireplace with sort of Christmas colours. So I basically used two triangles of fabric and just stitched them together right sides together and then turned them the right way and then I've enclosed them in this ribbon at the top um, and I just used a zigzag stitch to secure it. I also made some matching little heart cushions with little bells and ribbons on ages and ages ago I've, I made these but I quite like the way they sort of look like a rustic sort of style Christmas and um, if we go right over to this wall I also made a few more of the hearts to make a little wreath I'd found a wicker wreath at a charity shop that was just plain and I just added the little heart cushions and some little beads that I'd found in my stash. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. 